Welcome back everybody to our second match of today in Star Ladder Europe. We're here with day number 9. It's Alliance versus Next KZ, And we've got ourselves a pretty exciting match ahead of ourselves. We've seen our first match take place. That was Alliance taking out Rox KZ. Rox? Rox Kits, not Rox KZ. Um, and, but we've got a second match. And once again, I'm not alone. I'm going to be joined by EG's PPD. How are you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. I'm ready for the match. Yeah. So far in Star Ladder Europe, Next KZ have not been very impressive they've kind of struggled a bit and i feel this is one of those teams which got a lot of individual skill but they often don't really come together that much as a team but they still manage to get some wins here and there in star ladder yeah um i got to play a bit in the last season of star ladder with uh ssd and uh yep. your next kz last season did very very well at the beginning like they were like on top of the group for quite a while which is really surprising but then they kind of fell off at the end and unfortunately, they haven't had the same start, but you never know when they, they could just go hot and take some games off some top teams. Yeah, it's, it's been kind of like that historically almost. Like, they'll have periods where they will take games off the top teams, but then they go into these slumps. And when they're slumping, they just look kind of lost and like they're not too sure what they're, they're doing, which is what we've seen over the past few days. They lost to PGG's the retry. They've, I don't think they've won a game yet in the league. So we'll hop ourselves into the draft now, see what they can come up with here. They're going to be taking on, a, well, a pretty scary beast, and that is the Alliance, who so far are doing well in the, in the uh, Star Series. I believe they're undefeated. I'll take a quick look at our standings. And uh, Alliance, actually, they lost one game. So Alliance... Uh, Three and one now, having won them Dyer previous game, but uh, they lost to Navi, so that was their one loss in the, the Star Series. So not really anything to, to worry about too much. Yeah, it's okay to lose game to teams like that. You can still like be a good enough place in the go to land as long as you don't lose to the teams you shouldn't lose to, like Next KZ. It's really tricky. Like the the format for Star Ladder, like any one, like you go into one best of one, and you think, oh, it's not really like too important or if you lose it's not the end of the world but like the, if you start adding up those losses or well, at least for Europe where there's 16 teams suddenly you find yourself at the end of the season where you've got like five games left and you have to win all five of them to qualify so it's pretty brutal for the European teams the American one you've got eight teams so it's like a much shorter season and you can see how each match is important but with 15 matches in a season it's like this just I mean you you played it last season like you you guys almost even qualified with SSD last season we had some uh, minor internal issues that led to us not qualifying, but okay, yeah, I, I guess yeah. I guess we we did pretty well for a while. Yeah, but we, we should talk about the like draft. Fifth or sixth place in the end? Yeah, well, so we should talk about the draft. That's right. <laughs> uh, we're running our intro video, which takes like a good two and a half minutes, and then uh, suddenly the draft is almost over. There's also, this fling. is a very fast draft. Um, yeah, more fling. Next KZ had like been penalized by uh, quite heavily for uh, an incident yesterday, so they had no bonus time for the entire draft. They had yeah, to draft true. very fast. Um, We're just missing out what do you think of these right drafts? Um, Sorry? Very unique. Uh, Ember Spirit remaining. Batrider is really good together. And now they have a Morphling as well. Um, Five seconds remaining. I wonder if they might do like a dual lane. It's like a Shadow Demon Morphling mid. Or they could do that. Um, or they could do like a Trilane Morphling, I guess. But I don't think Morphling is that good of a Trilane hero. Is that because he needs the like solo experience, or just do you just, just don't Radiant think he offers enough in a tri lane? Big. I think he needs to get like yeah. I mean, he offer, he's okay, like, he, but he needs the levels. Like, he needs to have that level four adaptive strike when he gets his E blade. And if he's yeah. like in a tri lane, he might not have it. So, well, it looks like Tapor is normally the carry player for this team, so it may be. Well, I don't know if it'll be a tri lane morphling, but it looks like it will be like a safe lane farming morphling with what a fucker. He's almost always in that mid lane, so he's on the Ember Spirit. So we look towards Ember Spirit up against Puck potentially in the mid lane. As for Alliance, this is this is like your your trademark Alliance draft almost. Maybe not not so much Aki with the Dazzle, but Dazzle's become a big top pick in this current version. Yeah, I've seen Aki play like he's either playing a jungler or he's playing Dazzle or CM, which is kind of a jungler, but he plays a really good Dazzle. He plays everything really good, honestly. <laughs> Any team with Aki definitely can go far, but uh, we'll introduce our two teams here. It is going to be Alliance versus Next KZ in our second match of Day 9 of Star Ladder Europe. We're going to have uh, Doramu playing the Lion on support for Next KZ. We've got Waterfucker well, playing the Ember Spirit. That's Actually, Dormammu, Marvel. please. Dormammu? Oh, Dormammu. <laughs> Marvel. Marvel, man. Be careful. Oh, okay. Is that a Marvel name? I didn't know that. Yeah, it is. I need to go back uh, need to watch research the before these matches. We've got uh, Reeves playing the Shadow Demon. That's okay. Tapor playing the... Is Tapor right? Is that a Marvel character? 
No. It sounds like a Marvel character. No? Alright, shut down. <laughs> Morphling gonna be played by Tapor, and then we've got Mantis playing the Bat Rider. He's got boots first. He's gonna be going up to that offlane. And then, on the die side, it is the Alliance, your TI3 champions. We've got Aki playing the Dazzle. Bane being played by EGM Loader on the Lifestealer. Solo mid is gonna be s 4s Puck. And then finally in the offlane, Admiral Bulldog playing the Nature's Prophet. I stumbled for a second there as I read his name. And I'm sure our chat's having a lot of fun right now. But that's good. I like to see our chat having fun. The battle begins. And I think uh, I think Bulldog messed up. I, I'm not sure. He only has one Tango. I feel like he maybe bought a set of Tangos and then sold them like too late or something. Like uh, He did get the double clarity. Yeah, that's only, what, 550, right? Yeah, but so the Tangos cost 125. Yeah, and then he, I think he like, I think he bought them and sold them because most people when they do this they have a, or I think he bought two clarities by accident instead of buying accident, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So unless, he only has, maybe he only has it's one some new strategy right now. right now. Unless it's some new strategy where he wants the extra clarity, but like I feel like you'd almost pull a clarity and then start with four tangos. Oh wow! First, first blood. Blood. I'm I'm thrown off. I'm being. A flame for not knowing my Marvel characters and missing first blood now. It's an early rotation on the mid lane. That's not a good start for me. But uh, we're going to see what a fucker go down. And this is where Ember Spirit can struggle. He is very prone to gank's pre-level 6. And there's a second gank coming in. He may just go down again. Can he get in range for the Nightmare? He's not going to do so, but... Man. This is... Oh, he's got the Nightmare. He came back in. What are you doing, what a fucker? Is he going to get a three, two hero Shadow Wave? Is it going to be three heroes? Oh! <laughs> The damage output is pretty scary. What a fuck, I may just go down to the right clicks here. There's a Puck Orb, not going to land, but the right clicks finish him off. That's not good for next KZ. No, it's not good I don't know about that one. He's picked up a Gauntlet of Strength for this next engagement, though, so maybe he'll survive. <laughs> I noticed some, some sarcasm in your voice there. I I mean, I think he, just, he just died twice, so yeah. his game's ruined. What else do you do after dying? He started with like a, he'd be. I, I imagine he was thinking about rushing a bottle, but that plan's gone, gone, gone to shit. I don't know. Yeah, after he died the first At time, this I was point, like, oh, it's it's okay. He had a TP, but then he died the second time, and he had to walk all the way back to lane. So. <laughs> yeah, you die the second time, and you don't even buy a TP because it's going to be on cooldown. So, oh man. Well, like you said, he's got a gauntlet now. That's the good news, but. Uh, he's not going to be ganked in the next few minutes because the supports are pretty much out of mana. Well, Bane's actually got... he's clarityed up, so he's uh, back to fighting fit. And he's going to find an invis rune, so maybe we do see another gank coming his way. Greetings. What a fucker. He's uh, going to just see himself... Ooh, Batrider's actually going for this top rune. It's going to be S4 who picks it up, though. He's got a bottle already. And Bane is going to uh, zone out Mantis from this top river. I yeah, this is not at all the start you want on your your Ember Spirit. Already S4 has a bottle, almost 450 gold for his boots, and he is just all over this Ember Spirit now. He should be looking at maybe even getting a solo kill fairly soon if he gets like level five, level six. Yeah, normally you don't think of Dazzle as like a very good um, early game like ganker, but when you has a uh, you're up against a hero like Ember Spirit who only has one armor, the the heal bomb does like a ton of damage. So yeah, you just need that setup which the Bane gave him. Then Bane me, uh oh. Are we going to see another Nightmare come in at this mid lane? What a fucker. This could be a second kill here on... Oh, sorry, third kill here on What a fucker. And he's going to get all down in just a second here. The old bit just managed to clip him. Couple right clicks, and that's a third death on Ember Spirit at mid. S4 pops an Invis rune. He'll be okay here. Just needs to dodge a bit of this Firefly. The Firefly's still chasing EGM here, but I don't think Mantis can get this. He needs to be very careful if he wants to chase any further. There is a Shadow Demon rotation. S4. Orbs out of the Firefly. Bottles up a bit more, so... Pops a bottle in the career, he's just going to bottle Crow in. That's like two next KZ heroes rotating mid, and they don't really do a whole lot even. Yeah, this is such an awful start. Like, I'm I'm concerned this game isn't going to last longer than like 20 minutes at this point. Well, we'll see how long next KZ can, <laughs> next KZ can hang in this one. It's They've still got two lanes, which, well, I've got one lane which is going okay. That's your Morphling farming away at bottom lane. He's going for a Lincoln's Rush, picks up the Ring of Hell. Uh, he yeah. is your top CS. But he's pretty good against Nyx too, so we'll see how he does. Okay. It's like you say, if they if Alliance gets so far ahead by 15, 20 minutes in, even if your Morphling gets a 15 minute Lincoln Sphere or something, what's he actually going to do? He can't really fight with a 15 minute Lincoln if Alliance are just completely farming out and getting out of control. I mean, we'll have to see the build. I actually already has Ring of Health, so maybe he's just going to rush Lincoln's, but some Morphlings just skip it entirely and just go straight E Blade. Yeah. 
As for Mantis, he's abandoned the offlane. He's going to be just in this jungle getting some decent farm. And that's going to be, I think, the one thing which next season you just want to try and not give up many kills in the next 5 10 minutes and try get Mantis this blink dagger up as early as possible. Because Batrider with the blink dagger is probably going to be the one hero that can kind of keep them in this game and create openings for them. Other than that, I, I don't really know what they do. Uh, Shadow Demon Lion? I feel like this support duo is pretty weak. Yeah, like together they're not that strong. That's why I contemplated the idea of dual lanes. Gank on mid though, with Coil. Yeah. Coil being used here. What a fucker. He's just level 4 still. The Flame Guard will block a bit of the damage, but the Waning Rift comes in as well. Reeve's gonna go down to the right clicks. Bane actually gets a double kill. And Mantis, he's gonna get out of here. The right click damage is actually pretty scary. This is a nightmare as well. S4's got an orb in a couple seconds. That'll wake him up. It's actually gonna miss. He woke up before that. Now Admiral Bulldog will go down. Mantis is gonna get himself a kill, but it's a triple kill for EGM. Puck goes down as well to the Firefly. That was a bit messy. I think they thought they were going to get the kill with the, the orb, but once that orb missed, Alliance just got a, a bit too overly aggressive. Yeah, they definitely paid the price for the greed trying to get that final last kill. It looked like it was going to be a 3 for nothing trade, but it turns out to be a 3 for 2. So next KZ, even though they lose that engagement, they've got to be pretty happy with how it turned out. They might get another kill here too. Midas. Okay. EGM goes down. That's a lot of gold for Ember Spirit. He's back. Yeah, 500 gold. There's, well, there's your your bracer, or do you still go bottle? I don't, uh, I don't know I what you get at this he's, point. I think he's going to get boots. I'm not sure, though. Yeah. He needs to just try hit level 6, and with Dream, well, Dream Call's up in 15 seconds, so... Do we even look towards another rotation? Everyone just keeps porting mid. <laughs> trial in versus trial in mid at, like, 6 minutes in. Oh man, this Shadow Demon, he's been level 1 for a long time, oh he's level 2 now, but he's just been stacking camp after camp for Mantis. Mantis is going to get a pretty damn fast Blink Dagger with all these stacks coming his way. Yep, and he got Although, the rune, With that so. said, he doesn't kill it all off. Dream Dream well. mid. Yep, they've got Wadafaka. Is there going to be enough damage to bring him down? The Wedding Rift's already used, Wadafaka! Still pretty healthy here, they need some more right clicks and they're not going to get this kill, so... Alright, he is back, I agree attack. now, he's got his boots up, he's got a, the Magic Sick which saved his life there it looks like, and... Dyer's Something next easy, you've got your Lion Top getting some attack. experience, you've got your Batrider, almost with a completed Blink Dagger, once he farms a few more stacks, and... I don't know, I think... I think this is okay-ish for next KZ now. Yeah, that fight mid really salvaged the game. I think they have, uh... They play it right. This Lion needs to be careful. Lion is actually almost level 6, which is pretty big. Especially, yeah, wait, only seven minutes in. Normally, a uh, support li line, especially one who was in a somewhat of a tri lane. I guess Shadow Demon was just mostly stacking, not really actually in the lane, but. Dormammu with the decent levels here. Loader, though, he's just been free farming. He's got boots, Midas, probably going to get some phase boots in a second, and we haven't really even seen him come into play yet. Although, with that said, it's a similar story for the Morphling. There is an engagement on top. Loader looks like he will be looking to bring down the bring down the line here with the help of Aki. And Kale comes in, no Finger of Death, he's just like 5 experience away from the Finger of Death. If he had that, he could have maybe turned around on Loader. Disruption under the tower, now Reeve. Not gonna... Oh, he gets the block. Forces out an infest from Loader, but... That won't really bother Loader too much, he gets out of there, but... He's lucky Lion didn't get level 6 there, I think. Ah, it's a shame nobody ported for him, like, he survived for so long, and if the Shadow Demon would have ported a few seconds early, he could have, like, disrupted the, the Lion, and they could have turned that entirely. Like, I don't think the Lion was out of position at all, I think. Okay. I was just... He's probably calling for help, and everyone was like... They just ignored him. Poor guy. Mantis, without a Blink Dagger, wasn't quite ready to come help, although with that said, he's smoked up and... Are they trying to bait Reeves here in the top lane? I guess if you bait out bait out an engagement, then you can lasso him into the tower, but this is this is a long shot, I feel, for next KZ. This is a next level game. <laughs> bait the Shadow... I mean... Loader must be like, this Shadow Demon's playing so stupidly in front of me, like, it must be somewhat obvious at, at that point. Like, he's just killed the lion under the tower, how likely is it you get Dyer's another kill under the tower? tower is under but, attack. I don't know. They killed, They did kill Waterfucker four times at mid lane, so maybe they're thinking, hey, we'll just get another freebie here. But Speaking of the Ember Spirit, he's doing okay recovering mid lane, he's hit level 6, got, has his boots in bottle. Doesn't have much mana here at mid. I I don't know, for next KZ, this Batrider Blink Dagger, which he's just picked up, really has to have a big impact, I feel, to, if next KZ want to get back in this game. One cool thing about next KZ's draft is that they have both Shadow Demon and Morphling, and um, 
normally Morphling can't create illusions of himself, but if you you can actually replicate the Shadow Demon illusions, and you can have like two Morphlings. Okay. Like like and you that's have, like, something a ton which of stats. Throw off yeah. opponent. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Ooh. I mean, you could bait a Fiend's Grip or a Coil or something. And... This Bat Rider. This Bat Rider is so royally screwed. He blinked in. He didn't get the lasso. He's gonna go down to the puck. The Fiend's Grip gets used. Disruption can actually keep him alive. Nice defensive disruption. Gonna save this Ember Spirit for now. He orbs his way out of there. Sprout goes down on the lion. Can they actually kill him? It looks like a lion. Don't want to go diving for this one. The firefly doing a bit of damage, but <laughs> oh, shit. that bat rider. Right oh, Dormammu with the big finger of death. Dormammu don't down fuck around. All right. I... This has just been a bizarre game so far. I gotta say. I... I don't... Next case here, just playing very scrappy, but it's like this is as good as they can do to get back in the game. And Morphling's got 83 CS to load his. 61, so he's actually well on top of the farm charts. The net worth is a bit closer because of Alliance getting tower gold, but this small thing's still a bit of a worry. Oh, Triple TPs. Searing Chains catches out too. Alliance are going to pay for this one. Is that a tactical pause or what? EGM taking a lot of damage here. He goes down to the waveform. Morphling even TPing in. Admiral Bulldog on the run. There's going to be a lasso. This one actually latches. It looks like there's an infest coming out. Next case, he's taking a lot of damage. Reeves is on low HP. He's still alive though. That's the important thing. What a fucker just going to town here. The Ember Spirit coming into play in Alliance. They lose Dazzle. They lose Bane. Loader. He wants more. There's a blink out though. And it looks like Loader's not going to be able to chase too much further. That pause was insane. I can't believe they just that did was, that. Yeah, that was uh, questionable pause timing. Dude, he just paused and he's like, everybody TP, let's go. I got Blake Lasso and then... Yeah. Oh my uh, god. They said dude, sorry, I, at least. I, I Still, dude, I would I'd be so <laughs> mad if I was Alliance. That was ridiculous. They got instant triple TP. And like they probably even ordered the, the TPs correctly. Like, well, Puck trying to find a kill though. Cast is at the bat right here in the jungle, so small victory for S4. But yeah, that was that was definitely a pause that favored next KZ. Misclick. Not trying to say it was intentional. Yeah, not trying to say it was intentional. Not saying they were abusing it or anything. I, I believe they generally needed a pause, but it, it worked in their favor, one way or another. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say that's what it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well. As it stands, Alliance, they're up 10 kills to 6, and 2,000 gold lead, but 2,000 gold lead considering the start they had, getting 3 kills in a row on the Ember Spirit is not really all that much. Yeah, from what I've seen from uh, Wadafaka, he's like a he's like a really, really good player, and uh, you know, I think it's, it'd be pretty, pretty easy for him to come back from a, a star like that. Tower is under attack. Well, as it stands, he's going to be getting those, picking up just phase boots fairly soon. That'll give him some decent damage up, but once he gets some more points in, slide of fist. And Tapor, he's... This this Lincoln's Sphere is going to be pretty damn fast. Oh man, I'm missing kills all over. Puck, he's found Shadow Demon again. The Blink Dagger pickup. Waiting room okay. plus Illusionary Orb. They were small games, you couldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> if only I was a Radiant player. S4, he's going to find... He's going to go on Tapor here, but Tapor gets the morph off, and there's going to be... S4 may just go down here, misses the Searing Change, but the Flame Guard doing a lot of damage. S4 gets draped up, nice play from Akin, the Fiend's Grip as well. What a fuck up, gets punished for his over-aggression. Mantis now, he's actually on the run, well, needs to get on the run here, needs to try to get out of here. Tapor gonna wave his way back in, Bane's the one who goes down. S4 blinks back in, he's low HP, but gets an orb off, as well as a silence. It's gonna bring down the Morphling, next is the Lion, and next KZ lose. Looks like four heroes, three heroes in a row there. And suddenly, I think it was a four with the Shadow Demon just respawning as well. Suddenly, Alliance going to take a T1 tower. They're looking to be in a really good position here. Such good plays by Aki once again. Like, perfect heal, perfect grave. And then a really good Fiend's Grip as well from EGM on the Ember Spirit. Yeah. If S4 would have died there, uh, they would have probably won that fight next to Z. They wouldn't have had that second initiation and... Could have been a game game changer for next KZ. Yeah, as it and the big thing there is next KZ lose their Morphling. Like if they have a, a slightly bad clash and Morphling stays alive though, keeps on farming, then it's one thing. But Morphling going down as well as losing the fight, losing the tower, that's a huge advantage to Alliance because that's going to slow down this Lincoln Sphere again and just delays Morphling's ability to come to these fights. Because even just Lincoln Sphere alone is not going to really allow him to fight all that much. I don't feel like unless unless you think he can actually come to fights with Lincoln's, but I feel like he needs the Lincoln's plus Ethereal Blade. Yeah, I mean, he can at least show up for fights when he has his Lincolns, and always, he can always get out if he has a replicate, for the most part. But... Has fallen to the got some Maelstrom Lifestealer coming into play. Wow. Oh, that's cute so, from Loader. 
It's an early maelstrom before drums or armlet. Yeah. I wonder why. Interesting. Of haste. Must be, I don't know, personal preference? Or do you feel like it's an item designed to deal with this next KZ draft in some way? I don't think so. I don't think... I mean... I don't want to critique it, but... I, I don't think it's a good pickup at all. Especially when you have a Dazzle on your team. And you're going to have so much physical damage with the, with the armor reduction. Yeah. But... Maybe, maybe Mitch Olner's the item. Yeah, he's he's farmed enough that like as long as he's getting damage output, he's going to be scary in these fights. He can push out waves faster. That's the one thing he gets. He goes top and he's proccing lightnings like no problem. I feel like lightning coming out of life still just to me is like a weird like it just doesn't seem to fit with the hero's lore. Like how is there lightning of this little ghoul? It's an odd thing hmm. to be seeing. Uh, next is you just try to smoke up top, and as soon as they hit their smoke, it was dispelled. And uh, from the puck, so that was unfortunate. Yeah, Batrider came, rotated towards the mid lane, not going to find anything with his blink dagger. And yeah, just back to the jungle for Mantis. Wants to maybe pick up his four stuff now, but uh, Alliance soon can just look to get, get group up and kind of go for some, make some plays here, look for some towers, or even look for some smoke rotations. They've got some decent item pickups now. Uh, the Maelstrom may be a bit of a weird item. There isn't ooh, a bit of damage coming out of the mid lane as next KZ just going to see. Looks like Puck just went in with a, a waning rip plus illusionary orb to harass a bit. No, they used a lot. They used, they used Coil and they used Fiend's Grip and the Shadow Demon was there with the Disrupt. Denied. On the Ember Spirit, so... Gets that though. Searing, searing Chains just being used to harass a bit. And Tapor just 600 away from that Lincoln Sphere, so still a pretty good time when the, the Lincolns pick up for Morphling. Yeah, I feel like Alliance doesn't. They need to. They need to do something. Like, I feel like the Morphling is gonna win this late game if they don't uh, make some action happen. Yeah, uh, I guess you've you've always got the Bulldog Prophet to fall back on as far as split pushing and just creating space. But there's a lot of heroes to deal with the Prophet. Batrider pretty good matching up against him. Even Ember Spirit can punish him when he's trying to split push uh, as well. Being able to catch him out, scout him, and just lock him in place with the Searing Chain. So. We'll see Alliance though, they are looking to pressure this top lane. They get the T2 down to half HP and... Next KZ aren't fighting right now, they're actually poised with three heroes at bottom lane. Maybe just looking for a bit of a trade. You see Ake in the way back, like he's the, he doesn't want to get lassoed or blown up by Amber Spirit or anything, so he's going to stay away in the back for this fight. Slide of Fist just trying to stall this as much as possible. But next KZ are not taking this fight, there's an infested life stealer in your puck. Still three minutes on the Aegis. Tier 2 will go down. They're trying to get this trade at bottom, but the Lions want they can defend this. At the same time, if they want to try and even just go for some kills here on the high ground, maybe they can. If he gets the blink on the Ember Spirit, Ember Spirit will just straight up die in the waiting room. With the Life Stealer, that is. They go off the tower just out of the night range. There's the Infest Bomb. Oh, the Infest Bomb comes out. Morphling's still silent. He couldn't get off the Morph, and there's your Prophet Ultimate. They get two. Easy pickoffs there for for Alliance, and you just can't be in range of that puck initiation as a Morphling. Like you, he just melts. Even if he has, even if he has a Lincoln Sphere there, he still dies to that. Like Lincoln's does not help against the puck initiation. Well, he used his uh, replicate to help tank the tower, and then uh, it died to the tower as when the when they used the the glyph. So if he had his replicate up like way behind, he could have you know got it out of there. But yeah. Well, another kill on the Ember Spirit at the top lane. This time a Fiend's Grip being used, and they're finding... Oh, Puck has gone in mid. He's going to bring down Shadow Demon. A cheeky little kill here, and he's not done. He goes back into this line. A couple more right clicks are going to be needed. Line's going to go down. S4 is just all over the place getting kills. Bottom lane rotates. Mid gets a couple more, and he's going to maybe look for Mantis once again. The Blink is coming up to him. Silent, not even needing the orb. He'll orb his way out of there after getting the kill. There's your Jaunt, and S4 with a triple kill at mid lane, and that was like a 2v4 situation. He did not have much backup there, he just had Nature's Prophet there with him. And Prophet now TP's bottom, and with Lotus should get this TP tie. I think next KZ have just fallen apart in the last five minutes of this game. Yeah, great movement by S4, just really just took over the map, and uh, they you know they had used the pressure of the Aegis, where next KZ didn't want to take a 5 on 5, and he just picked them all off. Alrighty. Well, as it stands, Loda, he's picked up the, the full Mjolnir. It, it, an unconventional choice, but it's still it's still going to give him some good damage. Get the attack speed as well. 
And hey, if he wants to go diving towers, having the Mjolnir effect could maybe help you out a bit. Chuck it on a teammate even, if you really want to. But yeah, Alliance now, they look to bring down this last outer tower here at the tier 2. And next, Kizzy, I think they're gonna, they kind of feel like they need to let this one attack. fall, but they smoked up. They're actually kind of flanking here with three heroes. Batrun's got his full stuff. The question is, who's he actually going to try and lasso? He'd probably love to get Aki to prevent graves, graves coming off, but doing so may be tricky. I think they want to try and fight yeah. this. Oh, they're going to find him. There's actually oh, a no. finger of death comes out. They blow up the Bane. Nice start to the fight. The disruption goes out on the Dazzle, so no graves coming out just yet. Lion falls to full stuff out of there. He's still alive, but now Lotus going forward. Gets Searing changed up. He doesn't have a rage for now. The Age is still there, though, so even though he's low, he's still okay. And Alliance lose one there, so... Probably about as good as an engagement that next Kizzy can have, and now your Aegis is going to expire. That'll heal up Loader, give him that free regen. Here they come back, Infest right back in. Yep. Yeah. Infest in, there's also an Invis rune, and this could just be a straight up dead Morphling or Ember Spirit. Whose life's still going to go for? He goes for the Ember Spirit instead, disruptions there defensively. That'll keep out the Ember Spirit alive. Where's he actually gone? It looks like he's actually gone forward, he's going to TP home. I'm going to see under the tower, though, a lot more damage being dished out by Alliance, and they're actually just going to focus down the tier 3, it looks like. Load on the high ground with Admiral Bulldog. The Necrobook 3 is going to come back and, well, maybe not going to get the tower just now, as uh, he comes here at Ember Spirit once again, so. Next KZ are holding, but not really holding convincingly enough, it looks like. Yeah, that last fight, they, ac they accidentally, um, you know, they blew up that Bane with the, the, finger, or the finger of Death. But they accidentally lassoed as well, so that was kind of like a big mistake there. The fight could have gone a bit better for them, yeah. I think. Yeah, you, you blow up the Bane, use the finger on like the, the Dazzle or someone and get a second kill. Even though you just killed the two supports, without those supports, suddenly like Prophet Puck become a lot more killable. Lifesteal was always going to be a problem when he had the Aegis, though. Yeah, I mean, Ake is playing so well. Like, if they can blow him up before the fight starts, I think they have a decent chance of out-sustaining the Nyax's Rage with the Ember Spirit. Hex on Puck now. He's so far. Oh, I mean, do you feel Morphling still wants to go for the shotgun? It looks well, it looks like he's going to pick up the Ghost Scepter. I don't know if he'll get the shotgun before this game ends. Um, but... He might get it. I mean, I think Alliance is probably going to wait for the next Roshan and then look to end the game. But it won't be enough. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Puckett's found out he's going to orb his way out of there. It looks like the entire next easy team at the top lane, apart from the bat rider. And the bat rider is probably the most crucial hero to have up here if they want to try and push and take a fight. They'd love to maybe go and load an impel to just use defense. Not even defensively, just use for some harass here. As S4, he's going to orb his way and gets a coil as well as a silence on two. Both the supports kind of locked in place here, unable to cast a spell. The puck taking a lot of damage. S4 is hasty though. This haste. He's going to save his life. He can't actually go down here. Now the Morphling's in trouble. Is there a Fiend's Grip? He's going to try to get his way out of there, but I don't think he's going to get out. The Fiend's Grip is there. The Four Staff as well, trying to save his life, but the Morphling goes down. Three next KZ heroes take a fall, and now your Ember Spirit on the back line, spamming his Slider Fist. Mantis. Oh, he's going to try to get his, himself out of here. He's going to blink in a couple seconds, but he's not getting a chance to use it. And Alliance take out four, so convincing team fight victory for them. What a fuck are the last one left standing? He's being a bit cheeky here. He thinks he may be punished for this one. Nope. Oh, he's gone. Okay. That was pretty cool. Uh, Loda infested S4 during like while he was uh, using his orb. The orb, yeah. yeah he jumped to it. It's kind of cool. With him. Yep. And it, it's still tricky for Alliance to actually. Well, I mean, they next season you just solo level their respawning fast. So for Alliance to actually get Raktus, it's kind of tricky to do unless they've still got the Necro books up and. They'll bring in their whole team here. They should get this key through tower, but next Kizzy will be ready to take another fight fairly soon. Dormammu goes down. Immediate buyback, though. This is kind of the, the last hurrah from next Kizzy, it feels like. Lions is teeping into the front lines. That is, that's one way to TP back in. Dormammu, he really is a brave, brave man. And the spirit on the back line, though, looking for a bit of a flank here. Needs to be careful, though. Gets a searing change with a couple heroes. Oh, he's caught out. He's silent. What a fucker. Just getting so desperate now to try and find any way to engage and gets punished for it. I, just, I don't feel like there's anything next Z can do at this point. It's, it just feels like they're just way too under far. Let me try and lasso this lifestealer, bring them all the way back to the tier 4s. Maybe they have a chance. 
There's a, a four stuff on your Bane, so he can kind of catch up and maybe try and save load is always going to be the problem. And Mantis, silence up the coil, only catch up one here, but it's going to morph like who's hexed up. Defensive disruption, you skim alive. There's your, there's your lasso. It's on the, it's on Life's Tiller under the tier four towers, forced to use a grave here. It looks like Loader may go down once this grave wears off. They need a bit more damage here. The finger of death even being used. There's your exclamation mark. Was that even on Loader the finger? I couldn't quite tell. Lion taking a lot of damage. He's still alive for a bit more. Puck forced to just orb his way out of there. Knock me out to finish off this lion. Hex comes out. It's not on anyone. It's on a, a treant or something. S4 on the run. He's going to survive this one for now. Still trying to get himself out of there. The slider fish finish him, finishes him off, and Alliance lose. Three. What a weird, weird fight coming out there. A lot of spells Radiance being missed, but are under hey, attack. next is he still alive. They lose a rat, but Morphling gets one step closer to the Thero Blade. Yep. I mean, they lost the racks, which is it's okay. It's you know, 25 minutes in, it could be worse. Um, Lions will crutch probably crutch on this next Roshan, and then look to end the game. I think. Yeah. Loda also. Uh, do you know what item Loda's going? I have no idea. He's a blessed arm now. Or Lincoln's, ultimate. I think. Holy I guess crap. Lincoln's for the bat. I, I, I yeah. It would have to be a Lincoln Spear, I think. But, yeah, I guess. Hey, I'm not entirely sure. Bulldog's got a lot of money. He's got 5k gold, so he can pick up another side of Vice fairly soon for this team if they feel they need one. And that's for uh, EGM. What's he? Oh, sorry, that's for Aki. He's making his way towards uh, an Aghanim Scepter. Still has a bit of a way to go. Well, 1300 gold, and there we go. Alliance in the Roshan pit. They'll probably happily trade this tier 1 top tower for Roshan if they, if they need to. Although S4 is not giving it up. TP's in. That's the rough part about Morphling. I think he realized. The rough, rough part about- oh wait, top. Last one. Yeah, that's last, They've actually found S4. Can they bring him down though? The orb's up in 3 seconds. He has got a blink if he can channel it off. Gets the blink out after the phase shift. There's your orb. Needs another phase shift. He's gonna orb his top out of there. Team purged up, just drops a call somewhat defensively. Where's your team? Where's Bulldog? Where's anyone? s is just finding them on his own. He's keeping this top T1 tower alive. The Aegis gets picked up, needs some TPs now. S4 finally goes down. Immediate buyback coming out from S4. I think he's a bit upset that none of his teammates came to help him out because he stayed alive for so damn long. Wow. Reasonable bit of all chat. Dyer's top tower is <laughs> Next KZ are attack. already in trouble for some old chat in their matches yesterday. That's why they had the, the time penalty earlier today. So. I believe it was him as well, the one that got penalized. Oh, breathe, breathe, breathe. And just, uh, Bulldog. Well, just very, just he's very your, outgoing. Yeah. Raise your uh, your Admiral Bulldogs. He's uh, picked up a Divine Rapier. Radiant's middle barracks oh, are right. under attack. And Lode is not going for Lincolns, he's gone Skadi. Radiance Middle <laughs> this is An interesting game to say the least. They're having fun. Yeah. Lode oh. is gonna try to break the high ground now. Lion goes down. Puck just uh, managing to find him. There's gonna be a nightmare coming out of Mantis. Looks like Ember Spirit just trying to stall things with the slide of fist spam. Bouncing all around with all the units there, but. Oh, Lasso is going to be on S4 once again. S4 could go down again, but the Fiend's grip on the Manta is going to prevent him from doing too much here. And still, no shotgun onto Pori. Pops a Ghost Scepter to prevent Loader from right clicking him. Ripple kill coming out for Puck, though. S4 has just been kind of the tempo control, the man of this match in a lot of ways. And he's not done. He drops a Dream Call onto two heroes. They need some more damage to bring him down. He's going to actually join his way forward. Manta going to go down. S4 with an Ultra kill. Can he make it a Rampage? He needs to get the kill on the Fountain. He won't do so. There's still a Morphling. Where's the Morphling? He's top lane. Trying to morph some stats oh, no. here. Puck not going to get the his divine. The Divine. Radiance yeah. bottom barracks are under oh man, attack. I missed that last bit of clash there. Did Morphling actually go for the kill? Yeah, yeah. Bulldog lived wow. like 3, H 3 HP, I think. <laughs> There's your Sprout TP out. Jeez, so good. Admiral Bulldog. Radiance what a player. Calculated. GG comes out. Attack. Alliance, they're uh, 2 0 for today. They've got two more matches coming up. But uh, for now, they get their second win. A much more straightforward win. Probably a bit of a fun game for them. And uh, we'll see uh, Alliance. They now go up to, I believe, 5 and 1 in Starlight of Europe, with their only loss to Na'Vi. And, I mean, this to me was just Alliance having a bit of fun, knowing that they, this game was not too not so much in the bag, but at least in, always in their favor. At no point, even when they're getting some of these. Less conventional items didn't feel like they were ever throwing away this game. Nope, they had a great early game, and that's all you can ask for. And a better team will always win. They have a better early game most of the time. Yeah. Uh, so. And that shutting down Waterfucker early just. He, he never truly recovered. Like, he got the one kill on the puck, which got him. Like, he ended like a dominating streak and got himself 500 gold, but 
it still was not nearly enough. Puck had like a good two, three level advantage on him. Yeah, and that's why really you saw how much he abused that. He dominated this game. He was the highest level in the yeah. game, like even above the Midas carry. So yeah, he was in thirty-one of these thirty-four kills. So that's a lot of kill involvement coming out from S four. Uh, I mean, in a lot of ways, he's the only one who can set up the kills, unless Lode is getting solo kills. But that does it, guys. Uh, big thanks for PPD for joining me. Uh, any last shoutouts, PPD? Any mentions? Where can people follow you and whatnot? Uh, just on Twitter and Twitch. Twitter is PPD Dota, and Twitch is just PPD. So, yeah. Cool. Thanks for having That's me. Good, man. No worries. It was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely follow PPD on uh, Twitter and check out his stream, guys. I'm Gods. I'm done for today as well. You can follow me on Twitter at BTS Gods. But we've got two matches coming up. Zayuri as well as Molini will be taking us through the home stretch of Starlight of Europe. And then there's one Star Ladder America match uh, later on with Liquid versus Dignitas. So guys, stay tuned. More Star Ladder Europe action coming your way. Gods, PPD, we're done for today. See you guys later. Adios.